Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your first feature game of Week 5 action. The All Blacks versus Blood Red. Good shot by Bill Nardi there to start off the action. It's been a, uh, hmm. let's see what's called there. I don't know, uh, I don't know what they're calling here. Something about something on the floor, maybe? I'm not sure. Anyway, folks, if I sound a bit out of it right now, it's because I just got done vigorously sweeping the floor. The uh, There's a number of uh, different sports going on before floor hockey starts on Sundays, among them being volleyball and I think soccer. And uh, they generally leave the floor mess, so there's a lot of dust and particles and water bottles and such that need to be cleaned up, so. I am normally the guy in sweeping duty, so I have swept the floor. We'll probably have to sweep the floor again in between games because it is pretty filthy and we don't want players slipping on dust and other little things that got left behind. So, anyway, with all that being said, Blood Red now has it. Cindy of Blood Red taking it up. Hit into the neutral zone. Hit to Phil McAllister who hits it all the way to Boris. I mean, sorry folks. Didn't mean to stick my finger in front of the camera there, but I had to readjust it. Anyway, Phil passes it to the other Phil, kept in the zone, and it's hit out of the zone by Gale, I believe that was. Icing is waved off, Brad wins the, uh, Brad wins the battle there, but Cindy is quick to uh, take the puck, Cindy and Phil McAllister now, but Brad, Brad wins it, is he going to put a shot in? No, he's not able to, it gets away from him. Brad tried to hit it off the goaltender, but literally the goaltender is there to make that stop. Get back now to the All Black shot, but it's blocked by Blood Red, and Phil McAllister is going to take it up. Boris wisely not jumping ahead of the play. It's hit to Gale. Gale's going to take it out, puts a shot on, but it's blocked. Boris to retrieve it. Yep, it's successfully hit out of the zone. But back to the All Blacks defender. Get back up to Gale now. She's gonna dump it deep into the zone. It's gonna be hit to the goaltender. He tried to glove it, missed it, but Numa was there to hit it away. Numa is back there now to retrieve it into the corner. And the All Blacks able to keep it in the zone. Jace, Jason Laliberte dumping it deep. Tried to get a shot on, but it went well wide. Maddie G of Blood Red, battling with Jess along the boards. It's hit out of the zone and this will be called for icing. I'm gonna take a moment now to readjust the camera again. The strap is just above the zone where I like it for effective camera work. There we go. So 12 minutes left to go in this first period of action between Blood Red and the All Blacks. One by no one in particular, Jess of the All Blacks took a swing at it but missed. It's now being pushed into the All Blacks defensive zone. John Robs in net for the All Blacks. A good stop there by John. Matty G has it. He's going to put a backhand shot. John's going to stop it. Cindy there for the re... Or, I'm sorry, Chris Day there. Cindy's daughter is there for the rebound opportunity, but John swallows it up. So, 11 minutes to go. Referee Suds telling the scorekeepers that the scoreboards are now correct. It wouldn't be a DCHL Sunday without a, at least a, a few problems with the scoreboard, or scoreboards as the, the case may be. All Blacks out of the zone, just dumps it deep. Not gonna be waived for icing. Brett working along for the for Blood Red there. Gets it up to Chris Day, but Jason had uh, hit it into the zone. Jason has it now. Him and Matt are gonna go go at it along the boards in the corner. Jason doing some good work moving the puck. Cindy hits it into the neutral zone. Chris Day's gonna retrieve it. But it's gonna be stolen by Jamie. Jamie and Phil battling. Good defense by Phil there. That's gonna hit up to Nick. Where's that Sean? I'm not, I'm not really sure at this point right now. 
Regardless, Matt still has it. He tried to pass to Cindy, but she can't keep it in. It's going to be dumped in deep. Blood Red's going to touch up. They do. They're actually getting a change going right now. Aaron Lawler of the All Blacks taking it up now. Dumps it to Jamie Cook. So he can't get past the Blood Red defense. Shot and a save by John Rahm. So Blood Red putting the pressure on early against John Romps. But as is normally the case, he is there to stand tall for the occasion. Face off one by the All Blacks. Dump back to Jason. Jason's gonna again do a little magic with a stick. Work it out in the neutral zone. Phil hits it back into the All Black zone. Jamie Cook has it now. Takes it behind his own net. He's gonna attempt a long pass into the neutral zone. It does work out. Maybe not exactly the way they had hoped, but it works. Long shot taken by the All Blacks, but it went high and wide. And good job by Aaron keeping it into the zone. And now it's gonna be hit deep into the All Black zone. No icing though. Jamie fakes like he's gonna attempt to pass along the boards and he instead works around his own net. Pass up to Jeff. Jeff is gonna take it now. Backhand shot, but it goes wide. Good battle along the boards there. A little bit of physicality, but nothing approaching penalty territory. Stopped by the goaltender. Gale is there to try and retrieve it, but Numa wins that battle initially at least. Get back up to the All Blacks. A shot, and it stopped. It actually hit the post. And the goaltender there to cover it up. So good play by both teams so far uh, in getting shots on net. I'm not quite sure who has the advantage right now, but these two teams are uh, definitely tough. They're definitely, I'd say, in the top four of pro division. And we're seeing why now. Dumped in the corner, Bill Nardi and Numa. All Black's not able to keep it in though, it's gonna be hit. It's gonna go on net, so no icing here. John Rob's gonna hit along the boards. Murray's there to keep it past the fill. Stopped by John Rumps. Good stop by John Rumps. Good pass by Mari to Phil McAllister. But the shot did not go in the net. Pass up to Bill Nardi now. Numa's gonna attack him though, but Bill able to escape that rush. Oh, shot to save! Good pass by Bill to Brad, but the goaltender able to stop it. Having to move post to post. What a stop. Both goaltenders, another shot, another save by the goaltender. Both goaltenders playing outstandingly so far. Allison Cheatham of All Blacks able to keep it in. Hit up to Brad, Brad's gonna keep it in, but Mari's gonna clear it out. It's not gonna be called for icing. Jason Lally Berte and Phil McAllister facing off now. Long pass up to Bill into the neutral zone. Bill's gonna take it into the offensive zone. Battling again with Numa. Pass to Brad. No, it's intercepted by Mari. Boris Centarov now gonna take it up. Good defense by Jason. Jess has it now. But Boris on the second effort able to keep the puck in the zone. Jason has it now. Once again, a pass to Bill. And actually, Bill had hit it with his hand, tried to swat it down, but it actually went into the curtain area. So, faceoff will happen inside the All Blacks defensive zone. Very fast paced game so far. Momentum swinging almost at the drop of a dime. Just when you think one team has the advantage, defense steps up and the rush goes the other way, it seems like. All Blacks taking it out now. Shot, but it's blocked by Phil. And goaltender gonna cover up. Good play by the goaltender there, preventing a rebound opportunity. I believe number nine is Jeremy for the All Blacks. I could be wrong. I'm just gonna call him Kamikaze because that's what it says on the back of his shirt. Hit up to Chris Day. But it's kept in the zone by the All Blacks. 
Pass to Gale, but goes past her. Shot, and uh, I think that was a save by the goaltender. It might have hit off of Cindy's foot. Sean takes it up. That is Sean, not Nick, as I stated earlier. So Cindy back for Blood Red to take it. Gale putting on pressure, but coming slow. Oh, but good, good deflection by Gale. Oh, but a swing by the All Blacks. Not a, swing and a miss, rather. Not able to keep it in the zone. It's gonna be passed back to Sean. Matt trying to take it up. All Blacks are there, though. Shot and save, and it goes under Sean's feet. Pass up to Chris Day. She's going to take a shot. It's going to be blocked by Jeff, though. Pass to center, but again, Jeff there to poke it away to Jamie Cook. Jamie's going to take it now. Long shot. Goes wide. It actually goes on the net, and the goaltender able to pick it, up, pick it up with his glove. I think it would have been whistled dead, though, regardless. But still, you never want to be too careful as a goaltender. So good play there. <laughs> One by Blood Red. Numa hits it up, but unfortunately it goes to Jamie. Jamie's gonna pass to Gale. Gale's gonna try pass to Jason, but doesn't get a good angle on it. It actually goes out of the zone. So Jason will have to bring it back so his team can touch up. They do. Jeff calling for it. Or, I'm sorry, it's not Jeff. Names are hard. He's gonna go back to Jason. Long pass in the middle. Below us now. Long dump into the blood red zone, but Jamie's there to keep it in. See if he gets a shot off. He does not. He passes it though. Very good pass by Jamie backhand, but even better defense by Blood Red in preventing a quality shot. Blood Red trying to work it out of their zone now. Jason Lally Berte is there to keep it in. A little bit of board work there. Oh, shot by Gale, but it doesn't go in. Poked away. Gale takes another swing at it, but that doesn't go either. I think there's going to be a penalty here. And I think the call's going to be against Numa. <laughs> so we'll get the call here momentarily. Numa, two minutes for roughing is the call. So Blood Red going to be shorthanded here against the very dangerous All Blacks team. So we'll see how this power play slash penalty kill turns out. Boris and Brad to take the face off for their respective teams. It's won by Boris, hit Damari. She's going to try and hit it up. Boris able to hit it up. It's going to trail and now it's out of the zone. Bill not able to get there quick enough. He hits it back to Jason. Jason's there, but oh no! Mari intercepts a pass to Boris. Shot and a goal! A short-handed goal by Blood Red. And that's gonna make the score 1-0 with a minute 30 left to go in the period. I believe the call is gonna be Mari to Boris. Boris for Mari short-handed. Boris for Mari short-handed is the official call. We caught it first though, folks. And a good play by Blood Red, not letting the, the PK get to them. Best way to kill a penalty is to score a goal. At least that's what some people say. Puck's going to trickle to the goaltender, and he's going to cover it up. So the penalty is going to go to the end of the period, so I don't think Blood Red will start the second period with the penalty. Brad has it. He's going to put a shot on. Pass to Jess, actually. But she can't get it. Oh, she does shoot now, but covered up by the goaltender. Shot from a tough angle. And they're going to try and get another, another. Hey, can you please stop doing that? Thank you. Face off now. One by Matt of Blood Red. And it's going to be dumped way out of the zone. John going to stop it. He's going to play it up. 23 seconds left in the period. All Blacks trying to take advantage of the power play. But so far, Blood Red's defense has been playing very well. Blood Red as a whole actually has been playing very well. Excuse me. Pass to Brad. Shot. Knocked away by the goaltender. 
Christe working. Christe and Matt actually kind of both hit the puck at the same time with both their sticks. And uh, that is going to end the period, folks. So we'll try to get shots and go for you momentarily. So shots on goal, 8-7, all blacks. Again, about as even as you can get without it actually being even. Both teams playing hard, but Blood Red shorthanded goal puts them up one to nothing going into the second period. This period of play sponsored by McDonald's. We're, we'll see you again in a few.